Our next honoree is George Balthasar, who is a multi-talented and accomplished Wheatley Wildcat who graduated in 1957. He George Balthasar in 2016, and he is present. Our next honor is extremely pleased to have selected Dr. Boris Glasper as a 2016 Wall of Fame honor. Woo! Historically, he is credited with being the first black or African-American construction project man manager ever hired by a majority construction company, which was Fall Glass Incorporated, after the integration of Houston's workforce. Before he graduated from middle school, which is junior high school back in those days, uh, at E.O. Smith, his drafting skills had already been noticed and he had developed an interest in architectural and construction by working with his relatives in a family-owned carpentry business. When he entered Phyllis Wheeler High School, he continued to develop his architectural drafting skills under one of the school's iconic teachers, one we call Mr. Tom, but Mr. James Thomas, who also guided him further toward a college major in architecture. She was a member of the first group of students ever bused to Wheatley from non-black schools and neighborhoods in the city of Houston Independent School District. This, this was started under the court order to integrate schools. Martha, like other students in the group, lived with her family in the El Dorado subdivision located off of the 16 East Loop and Wallaceville Road in the northeast, northeast quadrant of Houston and attended Fur High School before being bused. 
at Wheatley, that group encountered both an unwelcoming atmosphere as well as culture shock, shock at the onset of their enrollment. Um, the experience was a difficult one, but fortunately, and to the credit of some key individuals, staff, and faculty members, Martha's group did not remain isolated and ignored. They attempted to adjust to the new school environment. Two iconic Wheatley great counselors, Ms. Jean Caldwell and Ms. Betty T. Harris, took the lead in reaching out to the entire group of newcomers where they provided much guidance, support, and advisement on a daily basis. Martha recalls that Bruce Austin, Wall of Fame honorary, as the youngest child in one of the pioneering families in the community. His family operated a well-known business there for many years. CNL Shoe Repair on Lounge Avenue. He graduated from Wheatley in the class of 1980 at the age of 16 in the upper 15 percent of the class. Academically, uh, he was an honor roll student who also participated in varsity sports. He participated in both the 800 meter and mile relays and track, first on the junior varsity team in 78 and then on the varsity team in 79. For both 79 and 80, he participated in the Phyllis Wheatley High School Alumni Wall of Fame Committee. is pleased to honor Tyrone P. Dorian for his successes and service Coach 
Jackie Carr from the class of 48. He was elected as the We Beat Wildcat varsity team captain during his senior year. After graduation, after high school graduation, Craig enrolled at Texas Southern University while working full time over an extended period of time. During his college years, he was regularly on the dean's list and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in biology in 1991. During his studies, he earned Texas teacher certification, and after graduation, he was employed by the Houston Independent School District to teach biology at what was then the Contemporary Learning Center High School for 10 years. Now, the community, the Phyllis Wheatley High School alumni, Wall of Fame Committee, is pleased to recognize Craig L. Presley as a 2015 